You are looking at the painting, The Triumph of Death, by Peter Bruegel the Elder, 1562-63. It's housed today at the Del Prado Museum in Madrid, Spain. Created more than 200 years after the emergence of the bubonic plague, or Black Death, made its way into Europe via rafts on merchant ships coming from Crimea and docking at Sicily. The rats had been infested with fleas, carrying the bacteria which spread throughout the dock town of Mycena in Sicily. Within two years of this boat's arrival, between one-third to half of Europe's population died. The plague would return again and again, creating cataclysmic change impacting European politics, economics, and society as a whole for centuries to come. The plague which entered Europe in 1347 was one of the many catastrophes affecting Europe creating what has come to be known as the crisis of the 14th century. This crisis would set a rebirth of society in motion, now called the Renaissance. Bruegel's artwork here shows us how more than 200 years after the plague first entered Europe, it remained a terrifying reality on the minds of the masses. As re-emergence of the plague would wax and wane within European cities throughout the Renaissance. Note the army of skeletons executing the helpless masses. Bruegel, an artist from Brussels in Northern Europe, chose to paint this work a reddish-orange palette, creating an almost hellish inferno throughout the picture plane. In the bottom left, we see a king wearing a crown and red cloak, his arm extended in an attempt to pick death's pocket as the skeleton in turn helps himself to the barrels full of the king's gold coins. Meanwhile, another skeleton just behind the king himself holds up an hourglass, reminding the king his time in this life is running out. Bruegel began painting late in his life, and the majority of his artworks on display in museums around the world today are from the last decade of his life. This work, as well as any of the time, personifies the terror of death shared throughout a European society profoundly affected by the Black Plague. The painting speaks of death's indiscriminate destruction on the hierarchical society of the Renaissance. Whereas most works of the day were painted with large central figures focusing on the wealth and prestige of the powerful, here all people are equally small and equally terrorized by death.